Hello everyone, this is Ron with Happy Homes with the walkthrough video tour of 1610 Florentia Street in lovely Mount Pleasant, South Carolina. Mount Pleasant, if you're if you're shopping for houses in this area, you're probably well aware uh, that Mount Pleasant is one of, a premier place to live in Charleston, and we're very happy to display this listing of a very beautiful home um, that sits in an, an incredible location. Um, we are off of Hunger Neck Boulevard right here. Um, that where you can easily access many uh, things about Charleston. It's right off of the edge of Interstate 526 and, and Highway 17. Um, so you've got pretty immediate access to most of Charleston with those thoroughfares uh, right here at your doorstep. Um, there's plenty of shopping just down the road. I think not even a mile down is Mount Pleasant Town Center, uh, which is basically an outdoor mall. Um, you've got a Lowe's down there um, and plenty of shops and restaurants to choose from. Um, this is a hospital location directly across from us. So if you've, if you've got any needs to be near a hospital, um, this would certainly help you out. Um, just there is not really a more ideal place, uh, you know, outside of downtown Charleston to be from a location standpoint. So it's pretty amazing. Uh, but something just about as extraordinary is uh, this incredible place that you're about to walk through. Um, let's start out here with this patio area. You can see that some of the neighbors have created little seating areas outside. This is a townhouse, um, but it doesn't feel that way once you're inside in terms of, you know, not that that's a, a bad thing, but, um, you know, even though you're attached to other houses, it, it feels like it sits all by itself. Um, got a ring doorbell here that will convey and you'll be able to um, you know set that up for your own use um, right as you come inside this is a three-story home um, I'm going to tell you a little bit about it uh, so there are two separate flights of stairs that um, go up to the the bedroom areas uh, this is a two bedroom two and a half bath but as you'll see it's not because it's there's a lack of space um, uh, my understanding is that some people utilize this downtown or sorry, this downstairs space for an additional bedroom if that is something that's needed. And you can see here they've got two separate desks set up. There's a full closet there and a full bathroom here. Um, I apologize. I misspoke. This is a, a two bedroom, four and a half bath. Um, so you see there is a full bath here that supports this downtown room. Um, and with the blinds on the, on the windows and whatnot, you could certainly make it private, um, even though it's close to, and near the front doors. There's a large closet here as well. Um, and then you have an elevator that goes to the top two floors. Um, the countertops uh, throughout are these. Um, uh, it's not really a, a granite material, but it certainly has a, a stone look to it, but they're beautiful. Um, nice cabinets and tile floor in here. Um, the tile floor does well with matching with these um, faux hardwoods, uh, which are beautiful, look like kind of a whitewash or gray wash um, finish on the floors, but really beautiful. Um, all the lighting fixtures are upgraded and, and fans. You can see here that you've got a, a nice fan light package and there are lots of, um, uh, Lighting, sorry, I'm a little tongue-tied here, but <laughs> plenty of lighting throughout. Uh, can lights that light up the, all the spaces very well. Can lights even in the bathroom. Uh, let's take a look since we're right here. There is a two-car garage. Um, there's only a single car in here now, but you can see that it's spacious enough for two cars. Um, this is a, a, a crossover SUV that's in here now, so just to give you an idea of how much space is here. Um, and that's that. So the way this house is set up, and you're about to see this, is that there are, um, you know, the living area and kitchen are on the second floor and the bedrooms are on the top floor. But let's go take a look at the living room and kitchen area. 
And again, with uh, much with the modern landscape of, of houses, you can immediately see how wide open this floor plan is and how spacious it is. Okay, let's take a look. This does go to the upstairs stairwell, but I wanted to go ahead and show you guys what you saw from the outside. And that's this wraparound porch. It only goes um, probably about six or seven feet to the left of that, but the, you know, plenty of space to you know put some outdoor seating if you wanted to enjoy the patio area. But wow, how grand and wide open and beautiful is this layout here. So they've got this giant wraparound um, sofa that is here, the sectional here in the living room, huge. Um, and just fits in here very nicely uh, without even feeling that big, even though it is, I assure you, quite large. The TV over there on that wall, here is the elevator again that services the second floor. Um, a continuation of the same cabinet countertop situation that you saw in the downstairs bath. And every appliance and uh, cooking device that you would need um, for a luxury modern home. You've got the two ovens. Um, you've got a dishwasher here on the island with a, um, a microwave drawer that pops out here. Um, it looks like a microwave drawer. It might be, uh, uh, that might be a door that opens outward. Uh, you have a gas cooktop with five burners right here, GE profile with a stainless steel hood up above and your French door refrigerator freezer with a middle drawer and a freezer. Well, let's see. Yeah, freezer on bottom. So, and let me just do a quick pan so you can see exactly how much cabinet space you're working with here. It's quite extensive, um, something unique about this house that I haven't seen in a lot of homes is you got two pantry areas. Here's one pantry just off the kitchen, very conveniently located. Here's your dining area with beautiful light fixture. And here is a walk-in pantry just opposite the kitchen island that has space for plenty of additional. You can see that they've utilized it for other purposes, but use it for what you need. Before we head upstairs, I'll show you the full bath. I'm sorry, half bath on this. This is the half bath in the house right here. Again, continuation of the same countertops and cabinets set up, uh, but very beautiful half bath here on the living floor. And now let's head up to check out the bedrooms. Um, you'll notice we haven't touched on the washer dryer yet. Those are also upstairs between the bedrooms, really conveniently located. Um, we'll take a look at that here in a second. Okay, carpet on the bedroom floors. I don't know about you, but I like to sink my feet, toes into a rug or carpet when I climb out of bed so they have uh, very nice carpeting up here for just for size uh, this is a queen bed in this room you have a full-size dresser here along this wall with TV on top but uh, just to let you know that that's how this layout works you've got a closet here French doors and that's the closet that services this room all right hi everybody um, in this bathroom, uh, this is the smaller of the two upstairs bathrooms, but lavatory here, um, bathroom, sink, again, continuation of the this throughout, and then you've got a full-size walk-in shower here. So very, um, very accommodating for a guest room bath, especially one, and it's almost like dual master bedrooms with this setup with the bathrooms right in the bedrooms. Again, here's your elevator that services the top floor. You have a French door linen closet here um, for all your linens. 
And here is the laundry room that I was mentioning. Uh, you've got the Samsung washer dryer here, uh, both front loaders um, and plenty of hanging space and storage up above. And I guess this one is uh, tr set up to be the true master bedroom of the two. Uh, this is a, looks like king size bed, just for size. Very long wall here. Um, you know, so plenty of, uh, plenty of space in this room. And over here you have uh, both a tall dresser and a, a, a smaller one. And last, but most certainly not least, check out the master bathroom. You've got a large soaking tub here, oversized, kind of hard to really show how big it is with the, with the camera, but um, trust me when I say you'll be able to fully uh, submerge in that thing. You've got some nice shelving just above here where they've situated some towels, um, plenty of natural light in here. You have dual sinks in here with, a, again, continuation of the countertops and, and cabinets. Uh, giant shower here. Um, as you can see, there's two shower heads, one rain shower up above and then one coming off the wall uh, and then the two handles there, but sizable shower. And then your lavatory is here, just situated just off of that. And then this is a walk-in closet um, that services this bedroom. Okay, everyone, I want to thanks, thank you for watching. Uh, for more information on this property, please visit our website at happyhomespm.com or give us a call at 843-608-8845. Thanks for watching.